ultrasonic welding tools are efficient to produce mass goods for our all day lives. So today we want to show you how an experimental model test is analyzed, which was performed by a PCV 3D scanning laser vibrometer. So this is the test piece we have a sonotrode excited by a PCT converter and after scanning the device we obtain the operational deflection shape. So we're using a white noise signal to excite all frequencies and to perform this we did the measurement from all sides except for the top. Most important is of course the bottom layer which is the active surface and for this we were using a mirror to get the laser incident on the tool. Now we look at the operational deflection shapes for the different frequencies here, the lower frequencies, bending modes, and if you go to the nominal welding frequency, which is 20 kilohertz, this one, it shows a piston mode. So this was the nominal frequency of 20 kilohertz. You see it looks very even, very well balanced, the mode shape. At 22 kilohertz, um, we get a kind of bending shape, which is not really beneficial for the welding process. Now let's look at some higher modes, which are not that relevant, but for model updating, they can play a important role. To analyze the active surface, we change to the profile mode, which allows us to just make a cut through this active surface and see the actual deflection along the surface. It was a white noise excitation, that's why the scale is only 60 nanometers. And you see it's a very planar motion which we can look at here. If you look just the 22 kilohertz, it looks completely different. It looks like a, a bending mode, which it actually is. And this is not suitable for welding. So there are other tools in the PSV software to look at the mode shapes, like cutting through the volume in different directions uh, to look inside the, the, the deflection shape, for example. And that looks, gives you a better insight and makes analysis easier. If you need to post-process, for example, to subtract some points from the overall movement, there's a so-called signal processor. Just copy and paste the data like in a, a normal spreadsheet calculation. And then you can apply math to the FIFs or to the whole results or do other calculations in post-processing. After the analysis, you probably want to go into curve fitting, um, like in the Polytech Polywave program to extract the modes, model damping, and things like that, and other parameters so we can export in various formats, uh, classical universal file, but also to other file formats, or just to just extract on the, ge the geometry, which was measured by the PSP scanning laser vibrometer. And of course, also animations can be exported for your presentation purposes. That was the end of our little tutorial. If you have any further questions, just call us or visit polytech.com for more info.